Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video is going to deal with the concept of a mathematical relation and I suppose the question that we're trying to answer today is what is a relation or what is a mathematical relation? Uh, I suppose we do have a definition for what a relation is, but let me maybe just try to exemplify what a relation is by considering a particular set. So let's say A is the set that contains the values 2, 4, and 7. Okay, So et is, uh, A is of size 3, just 3 elements in that set, 2, 4, and 7. And let's construct let's construct what's known as the cross product of a with itself so let's construct a cross a or the cross the cross product or the cartesian product of a with itself so to construct the cross product uh, let's do a little construction that looks something like this let's construct a little table uh, and let's put a down here and a across here so let's list the values of a down the first column. So the values of A are 2, 4, and 7. And let's list the values of A across the first row, which is 2, 4, and 7. And let's construct what we call the ordered pairs. So what we do is we associate each element of A that's listed down the first column uh, with an element of A that's listed across the first row. So the first ordered pair is going to be the value 2, associated with 2, or we say 2 is related to 2. The next ordered pair is 2 associated with 4, or 2 and 4. The next ordered pair is 2 and 7. Continuing in this fashion, the next ordered pair is 4 and 2, 4 and 4, and 4 and 7. The next ordered pair being 7 and 2, 7 and 4, and 7 and 7. Okay. Now, the cross product isn't just this particular collection here. I suppose to be rigorous, what we really need to do is we need to take them ordered pairs and we need to put them inside a set. So, A cross A is a set that contains these values. So, let's just list them out again. 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 7, let's say 4, 2. 4, 4, and 4, 7. Uh, let's say 7, 2, 7, 4, 7, 7, and let's close the set off. So the cross product of A with itself is a set, and the contents of the set are all the possible ordered pairs okay, of domain values, or values in A, uh, mapped into values in in the set A as well. Okay? Uh, and we're interested in what is a relation. Okay? Now, by definition, a relation is simply a subset of a cross product. Okay? So let me write that down. A relation okay, is a subset of a cross product. A cross product. So you're free to choose any ordered pairs from this particular cross product, okay? and what you end up with is what we call a relation. So for example, uh, I might select some ordered pairs from here. I might select 2, 2. I might select 2, 4. And I also might select 4, 2. Well, by definition, this set is a subset of A cross A because all of the entries or all of the elements of this set here are contained in A cross A. So by definition, this particular set is a relation. I could choose a different set of ordered pairs from the cross product. I could choose 2, 2, 4, 4, and 7, 7. Uh, this is a subset of A cross A, so by definition, this is a relation. Uh, I could choose 2, 4, 4, 2, 2, 7, and 7, 2. And once again, this is a subset of the cross product, so this is a relation. Actually, I could choose nothing at all. 
So what I end up with is the empty set. Okay. Well, by definition, the empty set is a subset of all sets. So the empty set is a relation. We typically don't just list out the set. We give it a descriptive name. So I might call this R1. I might call this R2. I might call this R3. And I might call this R4 to indicate that this is a relation. It's differentiated from, by, from this relation by the subscript 1. Okay. A typical question that's usually asked is how many relations can we create yeah, uh, on a set? Okay. Well, the number of relations that we can create is the same as the number of subsets that we can form from a particular cross product. And we have a rule. Okay? The rule tells us the number of relations that we could construct, okay? or sorry, the number of subsets uh, that we can create from a particular set, and that's known as the power set. So let me just mention that here. The power set, the power set symbolized by, it's like a bold P, okay? A, the power set okay, of a set a, okay, okay, has 2 to the power of A subsets. Okay. So in our situation here, okay, now let's just be aware that A cross A is the set that contains these nine elements. Okay. Uh, so the power set of any set, the number of subsets that we can create yeah, is 2 to the power of the cardinality of the set that we're creating the subsets from. So in our situation we have, well, we have the number of sets, the cardinality of A cross A is equal to 9. Uh, so the size of the power set, the cardinality of the power set of A cross A uh, is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Okay? And 2 to the power of 9 is simply equal to, well, 2 to the power of 9 is 2, raised to the power of 9 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and so on, 9 times, is equal to 512. So in our small example here, okay, uh, where the set that the cross product is built on has three items, or three elements, okay, the cross product has nine ordered pairs, well, the number of relations or unique relations that we could create by continually selecting items or elements from the cross product, there would be 512 of these particular types of relations. Yeah. Okay. So let's just uh, recap. Uh, a relation is simply a subset of a cross product. Okay. So a relation. Okay. A relation or on a set A, okay, so these are relations here, they were constructed from the cross product of the set A, so these are relations on A, okay, a relation or on a set A is a subset of the cross product, so is a subset of A cross a. Uh, or I suppose we could write this as uh, given a relation or on a set A. So given a relation or on a set A. Well, what we know about this is that or must be a subset of A cross A. Okay. Uh, well, I hope that short video uh, uh, helped us to understand what a relation is. Uh, the next video in this particular series is going to deal with, I suppose, uh, four important characteristics of relations. Uh, we're going to consider uh, what are reflexive relations, flexive relations, flexive relations, symmetric relations, uh, transitive relations, transitive and relations that are all three which we call equivalence relations okay equivalence relations okay
So uh, I hope that video was uh, informative. Uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service uh, at the National College of Ireland. And thank you for your time.